Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, November 21st. November 21st, my goodness. Thanksgiving is a few days away. I don't know where the time has gone this year. Beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Beautiful fall day. Cool, crisp, a uh, little cloudy, but I'm a happy man. Ah, so I got a lot to talk about this morning. I don't know if I'm going to get through all this. Uh, smoking my Boswell uh, Bing's favorite inspired pipe. Uh, this is one of the twin pipes. This is a pipe that uh, Jack Kurtz and I both have a, a version of this pipe. And I'm going to be seeing Jack later today, so I'll be talking about that a bit. Oh, I I had a rough night. I uh, I've talked about the knee pain that I've got. I, I got a cortisone injection on cortisol injection. Sorry, on Thursday I believe it was, and there's a period of time right after the injection where the pain gets worse, and then it's like you're you're 15 years old again. So it's you got to put up with that up to 48 hours usually uh this is pretty bad and i have not been sleeping well for a couple nights now and last night i don't think i i got more than like 20 minutes of sleep before i would be woken up by it again i could i can't lay in bed i had to sleep in a chair uh i'm sorry i shouldn't be complaining about this i will feel better and uh you know i should be happy for that so anyway i'm thankful i still have a leg that's a good thing so, I had a fantastic time yesterday, and I got to tell you that there's, you know, they say no good deed goes unpunished. Well, you know, we did the, the, the auction for Justin Aldridge. We did it, not, not just me. Um, and that was a good deed by all of us. And... My buddy, Armchair Piper Ed, won the um, Frogmorton seller in, in the auction. And I told you during my live stream, I had some issues with the post office. They said my boxes were too small to mail, so I had to go find another box. And as I was looking for boxes, I, I thought, well, you know, Ed doesn't live that far. Should I just see if I, he wants me to just drop it off? And then he said, hey, why don't we... Why don't you come over? We can we can have a pipe and I, so I I went yesterday and I spent uh, several hours with Armchair Piper. We had a great time, you know, just sitting there talking, having a few pipes, uh, having some wonderful Irish whiskey. It w it was a really nice afternoon, and as I was leaving. I realized that, uh, and, and it also realized that we didn't take any pictures or anything, which is unfortunate. I would have liked to have shown you something. Um, I did find a picture that, you know, it's kind of a recreation of the event. It's, you can imagine that it looks something like this, but uh, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I found that I wanted to have a picture of pipe smoking friends at the front of this video, and I found that, and I thought, that doesn't look anything like Ed and I, so... <laughs> Yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll we're going to do it again, and we'll we'll get some pictures or video when we do it again. I promise. But Ed's a great man, very gracious host. We we had a, a fantastic time, and uh, he was kind enough to open the Frogmorton cellar uh, while I was there, and we he he shared some of that with me. I had a, a bowl of it, and yeah, it's. You know, it's a McClellan Frogmorton blend. I've had, I haven't had cellar. I've had the um, Over the Pond and the original Frog, um, but I, I never had the cellar. It was good. It was, uh, I can understand why people miss it. Not my thing, you know, because I'm more of a burly guy. I don't really like the the Virginias and Latakias, but it was an enjoyable smoke. I, I, I did enjoy it. And of course, having a smoke with a friend makes it, the tobacco is kind of irrelevant. Uh, by the way, this is Haunted Bookshop. I 
started getting things together with Pegasus, but I finished Pegasus before I could even start the video. So, 8 o'clock coffee, Country Squire Radio, product placement. Not product placement. Yeah, I'm gonna have to refill this darn lighter again. So I, I got to spend time with Ed yesterday, which was really an unexpected, uh, I should say unexpected surprise I, I wasn't planning that until Friday you know so it was it was nice that, that that happened but I have been planning to see my friend Jack Kurtz because we've got another set of pipes um, so this one I forget exactly when we bought this it might have been over a year ago I, I just don't remember it had to be over a year ago this would have been during 2020 that we we had Boswell make these And this is my style, you know, I, I like billiards, I like I, I, shorter billiards for the most part, but the Bing, I enjoy it. Uh, so we were talking about it and, you know, I was thinking about getting a Christmas pipe, I wasn't sure what to get, and Jack wanted another Boswell pipe because he doesn't have a thousand yet, so he you know, has to keep buying them. And we came upon the idea that you know this was my decision you go ahead jack you you decide and, and surprise me so i didn't even know you know what i was i had no idea what we were going to get uh which was exciting for me and and you know a little scary because boswell makes some things that are you know big freehand kind of stuff that i'm not really into uh, but jack was you know he had input on it it wasn't like we just said make us whatever and Jack chose some beautiful little pipes. I'm going to show them to you. And I'm going to go, after I'm done with this video, I'm going to pack a couple of uh, pipes in my pipe roll and head out to, to see Jack uh, this afternoon. So we'll be having our first smoke in one of these pipes today. But we'll both be having our first smoke in one of these pipes. So that'll be two pipes. So here's the first one. You can tell by the size of the pouch, this is not going to be a small pipe. Got out. That is a calabash. And it's a beauty. It really is a beauty. Um, beautiful grain on this, uh, this natural grain area. The rustication is, is deep and you know, feels good in the hand. This one has this nice um, rim showing the stain. Nice rustication on the top. It's a big pipe, you know, compared side by side. This is this is pretty substantially bigger, but it it's it feels good in my hand. I can rest that rim above. You know, you don't have to hold it like so. It it still has a really good hand feel, and it's not a clencher. It's too big to be a clencher, but that's okay. This is a great pipe to relax with and you know so this is one I gotta pick one of these this is number one in no particular order and here is number two slightly different see it doesn't have it rusticated around the rim here uh, stem is a little bit shorter, a little bit more ornate, but you can tell that these are, what would you call them, sisters, brothers, I don't know, very similar pipes, and one is just a little bit longer, that one's a little bit longer than this one, but very similar, both have very good hand feel. I'm leaning towards this guy, so slightly shorter one with the rusticated rim. This one is beautiful and elegant, and, and I like that. 
but this one just I don't I don't know what it is about this one. Maybe it's because this was the first one I took out of the box. But this one is speaking to me. And I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and uh see what Jack thinks. We'll 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 discuss it. But he wants me to pick and I'm I'm like ninety percent on this one. One with the shorter stem. So Anyway, I'm going to upload this video once it's done, and then I'm going to take these off to, uh, to see my buddy Jack. He lives roughly two hours away. And we will be filling that with something burly, probably Haunted Bookshop, <laughs> and having our first smoke in it. Uh, it should be fun. And yes, I'll try to remember to get a picture or some video, but at least a picture. Ah, yeah. So good, good time with good friends. I'm really excited about those pipes. I, I just, you know, they were surprised to me when I opened the box. Like, oh, wow, I wasn't expecting this. And, and they're, they're perfect. They're not. They're not my style, but they're close enough that I'm comfortable with them. You know, if it, if it was some, you know, Boswell makes some of these like very blocky kind of pipes. No offense, I, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just the only way I can think to describe them. Uh, and they're not my thing. I just, I'd be uncomfortable with that. But that's, it's a classic shape. Um, yeah, I could be comfortable with that. And that, by the way, is is not a true calabash with the you know the chamber in it and the cap that pulls off or anything. It's just in the shape of a calabash, which is also I I prefer that. I'm not a I only have one gourd calabash, but I I've, I've never gotten it. It it doesn't uh, doesn't work for me. Although the one thing I have to do someday. I was talking to Ed about this yesterday. I have to get a briar calabash because I don't, so I don't like Meerschaum pipes because I don't like the fact that you never break them in. You know, they're always the same pipe from the day you get them. And that's a good thing for some people and you know, it's great. But I haven't ever had a high-end Meerschaum pipe. So I think I owe it to myself to do that someday, uh, to actually get a, a high-end mirror and smoke it, you know, and, and see if I'm maybe missing out on something. The other thing, uh, just keeping an open mind, is I've only smoked gourd calabashes with the ceramic or meerschaum bowl. Again, the pipe never breaks in. It never, you know, to me, never comes into its own. But a briar calabash, one with the true, you know, cap that removes and all that, I'd get to see if that inner chamber that supposedly cools the smoke really does very much for me in the context of a briar pipe. That might be fun. So those are those are two things I'm going to put on my list of pipes to buy at some point in my life. I'm going to put some more fluid in this because it's But yes, friends, that was a good, good visit yesterday with Ed, and I'm looking forward to a good visit today with Jack. And I tell you, it's these are two folks that I never, you know, they live close enough. Ed's about an hour away. Jack's about two hours away. Close enough that you know it's not hard to visit them. But I doubt our paths ever would have crossed if it wasn't for. YouTube and YouTube pipe community. It, it's just, and I've got so many, so many guys like that. You know, people that I've, I've met, people that I hope to meet. People that I, I email regularly, I text message with. I mean, boy, Sundays can be pretty busy. <laughs> text messages and it's 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 great it's great but for some reason sunday morning seems to be a time when i'll start getting messages through instagram i'll get messages on my phone uh just 
friends wanting to say hello, you know, just checking in, wishing me a, a good Sunday, maybe telling me about, you know, their something that happened with one of their kids or they just bought a new pipe. And it's just so nice, you know, because I, I've got friends, you know, other than, you know, non-pipe smoking friends. But I've said this before, I, I think there's only one that I really have a good connection with. You know, there's only one guy, that, the, the friend that I went to the movies with to see the Frankenstein and Dracula movies. Uh, that's the kind of guy you can talk to about anything. You know, the other ones are, you know, they're, they're acquaintances more than friends. But this is, you know, a bigger collection. And I'm so thankful for that. It, it's, and they're guys that I can turn to if I need to. And they know, I hope they know, that they can turn to me. It's just amazing. It's an amazing uh, upside to the social media fiasco. <laughs> Which is what I really believe it's become. But we won't get into that. Now, speaking of friends... I got a package from my buddy Larry Blackett, and Larry uh, is buttons for your britches, uh, both on Instagram and YouTube. Larry, as you well know, makes <clears throat> beautiful pewter tampers. Hopefully you can see that. Buttons. Buttons, the number four, <clears throat> your britches, all one word. You can find them on YouTube, you can find them on Instagram. <clears throat> I recommend Instagram if you have it because that's where he puts up pictures of all his new tampers. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. I, I love his tampers. Well, I got a package in the mail, and I actually have two tampers here that I don't believe anybody else has seen. Well, somebody else has seen them, but. I don't believe they've been broadly uh, seen in the pipe community yet. And these are two of Larry's uh, Christmas tampers, both of which feature jolly old St. Nick. This one is called Father Christmas, and I believe it is based on a... Oh gosh, I didn't bring the note down that Larry sent me. Did I? He told me the year, I think it was in 18, 1850s, uh, illustration of uh, Father Christmas. And that is just beautiful. He's holding a small Christmas tree. He's got a toy sack on his back. Very ornate base to it. Re really a, a beautiful, heavy, not, not overly heavy, but just the right heft to tamp. I, I love this tamper. This is, this is fantastic. And this one is called Chris Kringle, which is a more, I guess you might say, modern depiction of Santa with his uh, jolly belly. Uh, looks like he's laughing, actually. Looks like he's just let out a laugh. Uh, again, very solid, very substantial. Uh, fantastic little tamper. So Larry kindly sent me these two, and he said, uh, you know, one is a gift and one I want you to give away. And I thought, okay, that's, that's really nice. Um, how am I going to give it away? Now, I've been doing you know, trivia contests, and they're fun, but they're far from perfect. Uh, I've done some, like, random giveaways and stuff, but yeah, I, I think we're going to go back and do an old-fashioned video go. And I apologize to my subscribers that don't make videos. I, I know I'm excluding you in this, but I just thought it would be fun to do a video, uh, video go. And I don't have the time right now to put together a second package for uh, comments. <clears throat> so we're just going to keep this a video only. <clears throat> and I hope that you guys that are just viewers will, not just viewers, very important viewers, will uh, appreciate the, the videos that come from this. Uh, I hope somebody decides to make a video. So 
<clears throat> my goodness, I'm sorry. I got a bit of a frog in my throat here. So what I'm going to do is I'll, and I'll update this as we go through uh, the next uh, couple of weeks, but I am going to give away Father Christmas. And then I'm probably going to immediately buy another Father Christmas because I really like this one. I, this, this is definitely my favorite, but I think folks will really enjoy having this one uh, as, a, as a Christmas tamper. I will find some holiday themed tobacco to go along with that and maybe maybe a couple of other things to, to, to sort of build out the package and I'll update you as I go along but it's going to be you know there'll be there'll be a few items in, in the, uh, the giveaway which is going to be one so it's going to be a, a, a top uh, well, not not a, not, a, not a winner not a best video but we're, you know we'll take everybody that makes a video response put them into a hat and draw a number. So uh, there's only going to be one winner and it's only going to be this one package. Um, we'll do two weeks. So not next Sunday, but the following Sunday I will draw and somebody will win the tamper plus some tobacco and something else to be determined. Uh, to be determined. I'll let you know on Wednesday. So the, for the video, and this is the reason I want it to be a VR type gall rather than have comments at all, because I, I, I want you to talk about a friend, because um, that's kind of the theme on my mind right now. And I want to put a little Thanksgiving twist on it since we got Thanksgiving coming up. I want you to tell a story about a moment where a friend played an important role in your life. And I'm going to leave it up to you to define what an important role is. You know, it might be they saved you in some way. It might be they uh, gave you a gift that has meant a lot to you. Uh, it might be that they just played a function in your life at a time when you really needed someone to be there to do something. Time when you were thankful that you had this friend and they played an important role in your life. Video can be two minutes long, it can be 20 minutes long, whatever you want. Uh, you define friend however you want, you define uh, important role in your life however you want. And uh, let's let's have some fun with this, and let's share something about ourselves that maybe we uh, we haven't had the opportunity to. So you got two weeks. Uh, I'll I'll eventually formalize this a bit better because I actually made this up this morning. Uh, <laughs> so I'll formalize it a bit better. And I'll try to do a video this Wednesday where I talk about it in more detail, tell you what the other prizes will be. But this is going to be the main video. So if you make a VR, put a comment to this video linking to that VR so I can find it. And I'll keep track of everything. I'll make a playlist of all the VRs. And uh, we'll do a drawing uh, two weeks from today. And on Christmas Eve, you might be tamping your Christmas pipe with this beautiful Larry Blackett creation of Father Christmas. Well, guys, I've uh, I've talked quite a bit, and uh, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to. I'm sure I left something out. So. Thank you again, uh, Armchair Piper Ed, for a fantastic day yesterday and for your kind hospitality. Really enjoyed it. Jack, looking forward to seeing you in a couple of hours. So I hope you're, you're well and uh, looking forward to the visit. I'm looking forward to the VRs for this, uh, for this tamper giveaway. So with that, I hope you all have a fantastic Sunday, a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.